something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down To say that it's been an interesting couple of weeks in my life would be somewhat of an understatement. So many things have happened, both good, bad, and apocalyptically terrible, almost, that I honestly have had no time to make any videos, which is why you haven't seen a video from me in almost two weeks. The gameplay in the background is also nothing like the rather cool intro to this video as well. Um, that's because I, I don't know why is the basic is the basic answer to that I just wanted to get some gameplay We're just slingshotting around the moon a couple of times just pinging around the Kerbin system not really doing too much I guess if you want a storyline to it, it's I don't know 1960s era Kerbin or something and we're testing a spacecraft That's going to be going to the moon in a space race with the Russian version of Kerbals, whatever that is. So we're just testing it out, its deep space and moon orbit uh, capabilities, while obviously a war that's not too dissimilar to Vietnam is going on in on the planet, shall we say. A rather uniting tone there, shall we say. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is probably not why you're here. Oh no, you want to know how I done goofed and ended up not uploading a video for nearly two weeks. Yes, that's the purpose of this video, isn't it? I feel like I made three of these in a row or something now. It is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. It's just because I've had literally no time to actually make any videos and, well, I'll get into why right now. So if any of you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram and if you don't, then why don't you? You're missing out. It's a bloody good laugh, I'm telling you right now. Um, you will probably be very, very aware of the drama that went down around about two weeks ago, just before I was due to go on holiday. I say drama blowing it completely out of proportion on purpose because of course I done goofed and I decided it might have been a good idea to drop my hard drive. In case any of you are aware, on my PC I only have a 250 gig SSD, um, it's, a, it's a Seagate one of some sort, and as a result that kind of gets filled up pretty quickly when, you're, uh, when you have a Steam library that's as large as mine. <laughs> And so, as a result, you do, um, I do have to get an external hard drive. I could just put an extra internal hard drive in, but I'm scared of putting something else in onto the motherboard, and as I'm fairly new to building computers, I thought this would be a good temporary solution. Just buy a terabyte hard drive and just see how it goes. Well, I have been using that, uh, external hard drive for various other things, and I decided to, it would be clever one day to accidentally drop it and uh, smash what I think was the read-write pin because the data was still showing up but you couldn't transfer the files on or off of the drive except in very except circumstances with very small files of course so it wasn't completely bust but it was as good as bust basically. So as a result I had to buy a new hard drive and send my old one off to get the data ripped off of it and put onto the new hard drive. I'm happy to report that did actually go through successfully and that's why you're seeing this video that you're seeing right about now. And it's just such a relief but honestly it was scary because I had so much stuff on that drive it's not even funny. Like seriously I had all sorts of personal photos, I had um, I had film clips, I had half my Steam library on there as well, I had um, clips, like I say, from YouTube, I had my intro and my outro card um, saved to that, so that would have been pretty much disastrous if I couldn't have actually got the data off of it there, but at the end of the day, it turned out as a happy ending, and uh, and that's pretty good. So uh, I'm, I'm very pleased about the outcome there. So on top of that, I've also been on holiday. I came back about a week ago today, and um, I had a very good time. I went to Mallorca. I'll probably put some photos overlaid on the screen here, if I can. 
and um, it was very good fun. Unfortunately, when I returned home, I also saw the second apocalyptic event that had happened, and saw that YouTube had decided to have a cleanup of subscribers, and so as a result, I'd lost nearly 100 subscribers. Now that may not sound like a lot, but to a channel that's only got 1500 subscribers, closing in on 1600, that's kind of, that's kind of a lot. I'm not particularly brilliant at maths, as you guys know, so I'm not going to work that out in my head for fear of messing it up and looking like an idiot on the internet, but that's a lot of subscribers to lose. Thankfully, my subscriber count is now on its normal climb rate again, and we are making the push to 1600 subscribers once more with renewed enthusiasm and interest and yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to take a long time to get there unless a miracle happens with my creativity and productivity with YouTube at the moment. <laughs> anyway, we're re to return into the normal uh, subscriber growth rate at the moment on this channel, and uh, hopefully this cleanup by YouTube will be worth it in the long run. Getting rid of dead accounts, scam accounts, etc. Kerbal Space Program will be releasing for PS4 and Xbox One tomorrow as of recording this video, which is July 12th, 2016. Kinda don't know where the Wii U version's gone, I'm only assuming that they're holding off for the NX, potentially. I have absolutely no idea, I have no sources inside of Squad. Something I've noticed as well is that a bunch of developers have been leaving uh, since the 1.1 has been released as well. Obviously it started with uh, Harvester, but I know Ted who follows me on Twitter and uh, I appreciate him because he actually wished me uh, good luck with my GCSEs last year. Um, when I was doing those, so I'm rather sad to see Ted go, among others as well. It's all very sad to see a lot of the original development team for Kerbal Space Program uh, leaving, but I guess they're moving on to pastures new, as does everyone, and um, look at these re-entry effects. <laughs> moving on really swiftly, this is a new mod that I've installed, and it looks really cool. It's better re-entry effects. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to download it, but look at these particle effects. They're so cool. I've also finished college for the summer now, so hopefully I'll have more time to uh, to make videos now, um, and hopefully they'll be of higher quality, so fingers crossed for that. Finally, before I go, the song of the week is Sweetie Little Jean by KG Elephant. Few of you may have heard of KG Elephant, particularly my American viewers, or British or American viewers that uh, are big on sort of the indie scene sort of thing. Uh, it's uh, from their new album, Tell Me I'm Pretty, and um, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy the whole album, actually. It's got some very, very uh, good tracks on it. I've been a big fan of Cage Elephant ever since uh, their second album, Melophobia, and so I strongly recommend you guys go and check it out. Link will be in the description. Also, yes, the second episode of the Subscriber Space Station is still coming. Don't worry. Just give me a week or two. I promise, don't worry. But anyway, as we're coming down under the parachutes, all that remains for me to say is thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, thanks ever so much for bearing with me in this um, time of need. Hopefully, I will um, I will be back soon with more content and uh, more regular content as well. But until again, guys, my name is Bradders, and as always, peace out.